I want to take a small detour from what we've been talking about in terms of value and keys and talk about marks. Um, marks are really important in drawing. Like a lot of people, when they first start out um, drawing, they want to like immediately jump to uh, jump to photorealism and they want to like blend away all the marks. You know, you see it a lot um, in drawing. And drawing tips is just to like you know go get a blending stump if you if you are in trouble with your values, but. Uh, you know, you might actually need a, a blending stump in certain circumstances, but um, when you're learning, you kind of want to learn what makes a drawing a drawing, and 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 have some control over your over your marks, because um, when you're making marks uh, to to make a drawing, you can't hide, um, which is nice. So some of the particular mark making styles that you're going to use is. Um, you kind of use like the uh, the side of the pencil and light pressure, and that can give you like kind of a, a wider mark. But the mark is still there. Um, this will give you kind of a more smooth feel. Um, if you use the the tip of the pencil, uh, even with light pressure, you're still going to get a bolder mark. Um, which is fine um, if you know that that's that's kind of like what you what you want. One of the um, classical ways to render is to make these marks kind of follow the form and use what's called a sixty degree hatch, where your um, one direction of marks will go this way. And here's what, it, like this would be a 90 degree hatch, right? And this would be a 45. Right? But a 60 is just a little different. So you can see that the 60 degree hatch kind of gives you this uh, interesting form that happens. Um, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like uh, on this uh, on this bird so I can kind of tell from the texture of the uh, feathers that I might hatch this way and then I might come back in this direction And then one thing you can do is you can simply continue half the hatch marks in one direction and not use the uh, the crossing 60 degree hatch. Um, so that's a uh, that's a pretty uh, interesting tool that you can that you can use. Again, there's no rules for for hatching. You can you can mix hatching like in little places and then. Um, you might not see the need for it again. Uh, you might just like go overboard with hatching. Um, another more advanced style of, of mark making is uh, is round hatching, where you kind of uh, follow the form with your hatches and then cross like that. So it's kind of like wrapping a, a wireframe around a form. Um, let me, uh, let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, so there you can see all the different types of hatching. You got like uh, just uh, straight marks, you got 90 degree hatching, 45, 60, um, and then you've got this sort of this round hatching here. Um, and those Mastering those hatching types will come in handy for uh, life drawing, especially. Um, so, marks really um, are what show your personality. Like when I draw, you'll see me make make uh, all kinds of different marks. They'll go in all kinds of crazy directions. Um, you know, there's uh, when I'm filling in value, I'll just go whatever direction I feel like, um, counter counter to the form, um, just because. You know, I get I get bored out of my mind, like doing consistent sixty degree hatching or perfect round hatch hatching. Um, 
I like there to be a little uh, a little chaos in the drawing. So, you know, you can do another thing you can do once you have these uh, these heavy marks established uh, is you can because there's all these um, white spaces in there, you've kind of tripped up your value scale. You don't really know where it lies. So what you can do is go in lightly over the marks and knock out those those white areas. And you can even get it to where the uh, value and the marks are real close together. So it creates this really cool um, subtle thing going on. And that's something you can adapt uh, pretty easily to digital drawing as well if you're into that sort of thing. You know, you can use, you can uh, uh, set the value of a, of a larger swath down, boom, and then go in with some, some marks just like a touch darker, a touch lighter than that. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, technique. So make marks is the theme of this uh, is the theme of this discussion because what else is a drawing besides you know tons and tons of marks layered up to make a form um, all right so and rant about marks